College campuses are often ripe for debate. Uh, students encouraged to think for themselves about big picture ideas. In depth tonight, Brian Master reports on an issue that isn't coming from the students, but faculty. But then I look at that and say... Melody uh, Morris is one of 487 full-time faculty at the University of Nebraska Omaha this year. I've touched on an issue and I've been hearing, you know, uh, from other adjuncts. Larry Bradley is considered a part-time professor at UNO, also known as adjuncts. There are just as many part-time faculty as full-timers at UNO, 487. Bradley questions whether UNO is using part-time teachers too much and not paying them enough. I think they're trying to put their finger on the pulse of how many people are really you know, disgruntled you know, about this issue. Is UNO taking advantage of part-timers by having so many? I, I sure hope not. UNO Senior Vice Chancellor B.J. Reed is aware of Bradley's concerns. And it's not unusual for a metropolitan university to have a considerable number of part-time faculty. It's a debate that probably doesn't register among the students. But what Dr. Reed is trying to figure out is how many of the part-timers depend on a paycheck for their livelihood, and how many of the part-timers are professionals who make a living off their actual jobs, not as teachers. On average, part-time teachers at UNO make $2,500 a course. Dr. Reed says professionals offer students a real-world perspective to the classroom. It's Omaha, and uh, there are a lot more uh, individuals, professionals in the field here to draw upon than there are uh, in Kearney or even Lincoln. I've ran for Board of Regents twice. You know, it's not like I'm some Johnny come lately. Larry Bradley, who's been teaching a course at UNO for the last 12 years, is trying to give part-time professors a voice, and it may involve joining a union. While the numbers of instructors are the same at UNO on the full-time and part-time scoreboard, full-timers taught 72 percent of the courses. The question the university is trying to unravel is that a fair mix? With photographer Jim Hinchek, I'm Brian Master reporting, WWT6 News. One way universities trying to gauge the right mix of part-time professors to full-time uh, recently completed survey. And WWT6 News has learned the UNL Professional Development Committee meets this Wednesday. It'll be the first discussion of the results. And we asked for a copy of the results. We're told that will happen eventually.